Um, <clears throat> hey, Marvel. Um, I just want y'all to know. Uh, I'm gonna start off by saying I had never did no drugs. I I don't drink. I had never smoked. That did nothing in my entire life. Proud of that. Never did no drugs. Anybody that did drugs, this ain't no shot at you. I just never did drugs. Before I went and saw Doctor Strange, bruh, I felt like Doctor Strange was visual acid. That was visual ecstasy. Like, if, if you've never done Molly, after you've seen Doctor Strange, don't get drug tested at your job. Because I'm pretty sure Marvel, y'all snuck some acid Molly ecstasy. Probably some crack into my system. Um, It hurts me to say this. Doctor Strange ain't, ain't do it for me. It was like ER meets The Matrix, meets Inception, meets Shutter Island on crack. A, a, a lot of the times in the movie, I wanted to just grab my child and just run out the damn movie theater screen again. No! For no reason. I don't even know what I was saying no to at, at some point. I took my six-year-old son to see it. My six-year-old son enjoyed every single Marvel movie that y'all put out since Hulk. Everyone. Even ones I really went crazy about. Every movie they put out, my six-year-old enjoyed. This movie, my son was playing Candy Crush. I told my son, put your cell phone away, son, because... Candy Crush on the on the screen. That ain't Doctor Screen. That's Doctor Candy Crush. Oh, he got a donut. Put them together and everything become a, a certain kind of candy, Bruh, I don't. I understand where y'all. This was too much. This was this film wasn't for for kids. This is like an adult film. Not because it was too violent or overly sexual or nothing like that. This this just like this ain't. This was for them. This was for a certain demographic of fans. And no, I am not talking about comic book. Okay, this was like the comic book. I'm talking about Marvel movie. As far as a movie, I'm going to say 6 out of 10. I'm going to say 6 out of 10 because it's a Marvel movie and Marvel just dope. The way the movie came on was great, y'all. Beginning credits, spot on. The, the last scene, the like the two hidden scenes of the movie, I'm like, hell yeah. The movie is everything packed in between, bruh. I don't know. The black guy looked like a young Morpheus with hell. Um, Dr. Strange, he didn't know if he wanted to be Doogie Howser. He didn't know if he wanted to be Neo. He didn't know if he wanted to be a, 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 a suave dude. Most of, throughout the movie, his hair was getting great on his own. Um, it was a lot of just like, bro, I didn't understand it, bro. I mean, like, at one, when the buildings flipped, I was like, ah, I'm falling. But I was in a movie theater. I didn't know what kind of ride. I didn't know what ride y'all was taking me on. I didn't know if I was at Six Flags. I didn't know if I was at Disney World. I didn't know if I was in the backyard at the damn county fair. Um... I'm, I'm, I'm not upset, upset, because I ain't expect a lot, but I expected something. Um, we, I mean, y'all still above DC right now, but not by much, bro. Yeah, this movie probably gonna, don't make a part two. I don't give a damn how much money this movie make. Don't make a, I don't, at the end of the movie, it said Doctor Strange will return. Nah, I want him to go back to, to, to where he come from. I want him to stay his ass over there, because I don't want to go to another dimension. Nah, I'm straight. And then, and then the, the, the big bad Duramu, Aramu, Duranama, Geronimo, whatever his name is, he reminded me of the robot face in, in, in the Matrix Part 3. Like, bro, if it was me, if I if, if this if I was Matrix Revolutions, if I was the Wachowski brothers, I'd be suing Marvel right now for just taking our movie and making it lighter. That I, that's that's me. I could be wrong. That's just Josh Prey comedy. I'm just a comedian. That's just me. But um for everything Civil War and Captain America and all that got right, this one got wrong. Um I'm, I didn't invest in the character. I felt like Dr. Strange too damn old. Like, my son is not going to want to be Dr. Strange for next Halloween. My child supposed to want to be the character. Like, my kid want to be Black Panther, although he black. My child want to be Spider-Man. Hell, my child want to be um Hawkeye. All he did was wear tight leather clothes and shoot an arrow across the street. Wasn't that dope, but my child wanted to be here for Halloween. My child, ain't nobody gonna want to be Dr. Strange. Yeah, um, Daddy, make my hair gray right here. Give me a long-ass face. Um... And let's let just confuse people for Halloween. Like, bruh, like, was this a, was, was this Tetris? Like, I'm confused. I don't like moving, leaving theaters confused, bruh. I went to sleep like four times, woke up and we was in the same damn apartment in the movie. Like, I didn't like it. I like the, the I like the, um, the Sorcerer, the Sorcerer Supreme the entire, I liked her character. I loved the way she played, but as far as Doctor Strange and the lady, they relationship, nah. I'm trying to think if it was a dope scene. The cape stole the show, bro. When, <clears throat> when an inanimate object, when a piece of clothing steal the show, you know something wrong. Like some bad wrong. Like the cape ain't even have no words. He ain't have no lines or nothing. But he really stole it. Um, people gonna still see the movie. I ain't put too many spoilers in this review. But this whole movie was spoiled milk. I'm just saying. It's just my opinion.
That's Josh Pratt. But Apple carry on. Who the hell want to be?